what's going on guys Mike Schemer here I'm super pumped because I rediscovered a, uh, a nice kind of hidden trail where nobody is uh, really close to my house so less than a quarter mile down the street from my house get some peace and quiet um, at least got a few hundred feet um, of kind of space or maybe even a couple thousand feet um, of privacy here so that's awesome um because i really hate i really just i like to get be alone when i'm exercising and working out you know unless i got you know some buddies or some cool people at the gym but you know that was back in the day but um so now i do the frugal fitness uh you know no gym membership needed uh no crazy stuff but anyways doing this video getting some more fresh air um, and I like walking on this path because it's December now in Massachusetts so there's no bugs because this tr this path usually has a ton of bugs there's water all around here kind of swampy area um, there's a lot of ticks around here and I don't think there's any ticks right now uh, because it's December in Massachusetts um, but there's no bugs of course a little bit of flooding here and there um, that's okay I can wear my boots next time if I need my bootstrap business um, so the reason why I'm doing this video is uh, you know besides that I need to get back into videos is I really really need to get back in shape um, if you take a look at my older videos you'll find that I was in pretty incredible shape um, this was way back you know in the day 10 12 15 years ago um, you know drug free no steroids no HGH no uh, testosterone replacement therapy although I don't think there's anything wrong with that if you uh, you know do that with a doctor if you um, if you have the money I think it's very expensive uh, if you do it correctly but um, so I'm going to loop back around here. <clears throat> so anyways, pretty much as good of shape as you can be back in the day when you're uh, when you're drug free. Um, and I, wa I want to get that back. You know, I'm older now. I have, you know, you have to accept where you're at. So I have, you know, lower, on the lower end of normal probably of... Uh, you know testosterone levels and that's okay that just makes it a little bit more challenging to put on muscle and to reduce body fat it doesn't make it impossible um, it's just another challenge to overcome uh, same with you know as you get older your metabolism slows down a little bit every year um, so I've definitely noticed the impact of a lot of that over the last eight to ten years and it's not it's not an excuse um, you know, you can't use it as an excuse. I have in the past, you know, if I was doing this or if I had X, Y, Z, I'd be jacked. I'd be shredded, whatever, you know, that's a silly way to think. So, you know, I'm taking action, um, taking things, my health, my fitness, um, you know, back into my own hands now. So I'm going to be working less, doing less SEO, um, a little less blogging and SEO, which has really kind of consumed my life for a long time, um, taking up a lot of my time, my stress and energy. It's hurt my back a lot because I'm just seated for, you know, I'm like glued to my seat, um, or my desk or whatever it is 50 60 hours a week um, for the last 10 years so I mean it's it's brutal sitting is uh, sitting is the new smoking as they say very bad for your back uh, tightens up your hip flexors weakens your glutes uh, bad for your posture and your neck um, but anyways so I already did a hike with my kids today I'm doing this walk. I'm gonna do like 30 minutes here. I already did 20, 
25 minutes with my kids. Um, I just did a, uh, you know, a nice band and dumbbell chest, shoulder, uh, trapezius workout. So, and, you know, and as I've said in recent videos, it's not about the weight. It's not about the heavy weights. It's not about your ego. Um, it's not about one rep maxes and, uh, you know, pushing yourself in that way. It's about working out smart, consistency, um, good form, achieving, uh, you know, a little bit of muscle fatigue and failure. Um, <clears throat> you know, pushing yourself but not hurting your joints, not hurting your connective tissue. Because, you know, that's that's going to be detrimental long term. So I'm, I'm focused on longevity, um, doing my cardio, trying to keep my heart and my lungs uh, healthy, keep my brain healthy, keep my mental health. Um, you know in check keep that um, on the up and up and that's you know keep stress levels down keep cortisol levels from being you know spiked at all times so these are all huge issues more so today than ever before uh, people are not really meant to <laughs> live the way we're living kind of uh, so sedentary so many electronics you know i'm holding this phone right now i'm uploading this to youtube so i mean you know it's it's not good and uh so we have to do what we can to improve our health improve our situation. sorry i'm trying to get my posture you know keep my posture decent uh we have to do what we can to combat some of these factors that are unavoidable or you know we can control them a little like I said I'm gonna be doing a little less on the computer and on my phone uh, I might be doing it a little more in some ways but overall less overall less is the goal overall more workouts is the goal I really need to lose um, and I'm not even exaggerating I should really lose 25 30 pounds or so um, it would help a lot on my legs, it would help, um, really tone up the stomach and the chest area, um, get my health back on track, lower cholesterol a little bit, lower blood pressure, uh, improve, you know, mental health as I already mentioned, um, put on a little muscle, improve my strength a tiny bit, um, uh, you know, give me some options for some physical hobbies um, or sports to pursue in the future. You know, whether it's uh, hiking, mountain biking, martial arts, boxing, you know, something of that nature that right now it would be a little bit of a stretch for me to do um, without a, a better baseline of fitness. So... Yeah, so, you know, I, January 1st is really when I'm going to be killing it like everybody else, trying to crush it, hit my goals, but, um, you know, the more progress you can make in anything, business, fitness, personal life, before the end of the year, before January 1st, then the quicker results you're going to have, the better results you're going to have, and next year in 2024 or whatever year you know maybe you're watching this um you know a year or two from now and uh you know it, it's about priorities and dedication so and kind of you gotta stop making excuses and i've done that for so long um you know i got i got a busy job or i got multiple jobs i've got um you know I'm getting married or, you know, I have kids or there's COVID, um, you know, I'm sick, whatever. I got back pain, all this stuff. Um, you just have to play the hand you're dealt and kind of make the best of things. And um, you just want to make the very best of your situation physically, mentally, financially, um, business, 
<clears throat> and live good, you know, without trying to make this all about live good, because it's about something bigger than that, but live good has really been an accelerant, been a, um, you know, a major factor in me since the summer, regaining some of my motivation, um, you know, regaining, you know, fitness and wellness as a, you know, as a top goal of mine, as a higher priority, instead of priority number eight, priority number 10, whatever, you know, I kick, I uh, keep pushing it off, kicking the can down the road. You can only do that so long uh, before it catches up with you. Uh, but the Live Good products are fantastic. Um, the savings, you know, in terms of health and ingredients and benefits, um, <clears throat> The prices are low, so I'm able to afford it without sacrificing other areas of my life or, you know, feeling guilty about buying products. It's like, oh, this costs too much. I, I don't, I don't deserve it or I, I, you know, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't spend so much money on this when I have to focus on these other things. Um, and the business opportunity has been incredible to me. Um, so I appreciate Everybody on my LiveGood team, you can join below if you want. Take a look at the products too, in the links below. Uh, but you know, my my upline Eric Johnson has uh, <coughs> been instrumental in you know helping me get involved with LiveGood and succeed with LiveGood. Um, learned a wide variety of things from him as well, because I, I you know I'm pretty well versed in health, wellness, and fitness, but I've learned so many different things from him about, uh, you know, ket ketosis, uh, fasting, uh, you know, alternative wellness strategies, and like, you know, it's, it's right, it's right on the money, it's, it's very beneficial, so you need to really, um, try out different options, you know, especially if you've faced obstacles in the past, or if, traditional methods have not worked for you always which they don't for most people you know so I mean it's whatever works it's whatever works for you but definitely has um, been a good starting point for me <clears throat> to reevaluate my priorities uh, get back get back in shape see I'm already you know I'm already fatigued before I even started walking. And I was already walking before this video um, for 10, 15 minutes. So I'm already, <laughs> I'm already getting, uh, getting winded. I'm doing up and down these little, little hills, these little trails. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going all in. I got all my, I got my healthy foods. I'm using up some of my junk foods that I admit I bought recently. The holidays are stressful. Um, I'm finishing up a lot of stressful work the past couple weeks. This next week, <clears throat> trying to take a few days off or semi days off uh, before Christmas, during Christmas, New Year's Eve, that kind of thing, which I never do. I always work through those uh, through those time periods. And, you know, it's, it's not beneficial uh, for your family or your health. Um, whew, so, yeah. Give me a couple, couple weeks, a few weeks. I can get in pretty good shape pretty fast. But, you know, I also know that you have to be realistic, too. You know, you can't expect to be in the shape you're in when you're 24. You can't expect to get... To cancel out 10 years of uh, sedentary lifestyle, um, you know, in in 10 days, you know, if you put on if you put on weight for a year, guess what? It's not going to come off in two days. You know, you have to be smart. You have to be strategic. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing, and I think my health is going to improve too get rid of the chronic uh you know 
I, I never sound good in these videos. Um, I probably sound like sound like I'm not doing good things, but really just chronic uh, sinus issues, chronic respiratory issues, uh, a lot of different. I could go on forever, but you know, it's not what you think. It's just <laughs> bad immune system, um, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all that stuff back on track want to stay healthy for all you guys for my live good team for my frugal fitness fans um, my family obviously um, you know that's top priority I don't want to be uh, headed in a downward not a spot downward spiral but you know just kind of a, a slut you know lower than plateau kind of just you know in a steady decline you know each year you can't do that for too long but I mean this is good because I'm actually doing a uh, a long video you can see you know again I'm sorry I'm keep uh, keep inhaling